Podcasting just got a lot easier with Zencaster's all-in-one podcasting and post-production suite. Get studio quality sound with loudness, noise, and hum reduction that will make your podcast sound like you had it recorded professionally in a studio rather than in your own living room. Zencaster is a podcaster's dream, and for the holidays, they've offered 30% off for the first three months. Just go to Zencaster.com slash Holly to get your offer. That's Z-E-N-C-A-S-T-R dot com and use promo code Holly for 30% off the first three months. Or check the link in the show description. I'm trying to reevaluate who I consider my close friends now because I just we never see each other and it feels like I'm trying to force something. And every time I want to make plans, every time we hang out, I'm the one who facilitates it. I'm the one right. who contacts them and makes plans. Mm. And I'm a little sick of it. I feel like I know you don't believe in astrology, but that's a, I'm a Capricorn. You're a Virgo. We're both earth signs. That's a very earth sign thing. We're like mm. the hold it down friends. Yeah. And everyone else is kind of swirling around and we're like, yeah. come to us, come to us. I'm here this time, this place, structure, structure, structure. And people yes. are like, okay, maybe. And you're like, all right, I'm tired of this shit, whatever. And I get annoyed <laughs> too, because like I said, I'm really busy and I'm very right. much a schedule person, right. like you said. And structure. so I'll schedule in a um you know a dinner or whatever and right. i will not book a shoot on that day you make a point i make a point like i'm like that day this is isn't... off limits i cannot shoot that day right. i have dinner plans with my friends and right. then they'll in typical la fashion they'll cancel on me <sighs> and... like that day yeah. and like oh so be-. and i'm like i schedule the whole thing around my this. month around this and i know i don't want to sound like i'm so important and no, i'm so busy y- but i am you're... so busy and that your time matters. That was a lot for yes, me to do. Yes. And no, I can't do it the next day. It's the same thing with becoming a mom and having friends who are not parents. Yeah. It's the same thing as like, especially when my daughter was little, it was like, okay, I got everything ready. I got like formula or breast milk set out. I got all this stuff done. I got her napped. I got all everything ready. Now I'm ready to go. And someone cancels on me. And it's like, yeah. holy shit. Like my whole day was structured around making sure I could go to this. Like, like, yeah, I guess I'm going to stay home now and for nothing. But I honestly cannot <laughs> imagine what life would be like if I had children uh, because I barely am keeping it together just with dogs. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, that's what I feel like. I have one and people like you're going to have more and 100 percent. I'm no like I do not want more. And I love her. The moon in the sky, everything. She's my everything. But I just don't um, I don't understand how people could truly commit any more energy mm-hmm. to multiple children. Like, I, how do you give it to even one and yeah. still have time for yourself? And then yeah. now there's another and another and another. I don't yeah. get it. My mom had four and I constantly am like, why? Yeah. What were you thinking, mom? <laughs> like, that makes no sense to me. Because it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a year. It's not just a year. It's like three years out of your life, truly. Mm-hmm. Like, to just have this, like, birth, like, pregnancy, birth, and then infant. That's like a three-year chunk. Yeah. And no one thinks about that. It's such a blase thing. Like, oh, have a, have a child. Everyone does it. Like, why, why haven't you had a child? And it's like, after having a kid even more, I have so much more respect for people who don't because that takes a lot of commitment to go against the societal flow and like give yourself that time instead of giving it to someone else because everyone says you should. You know, I'm so <laughs> glad that you said that because I so often feel that I feel that pressure definitely for not having a child because I don't have a kid. I'm right. 41. Um, my mom and my dad would really like grandchildren. Everyone. Thank God it. my brother's having a fucking baby. <laughs> like we just found off. out. So both me and my sister were like, <laughs> thanks. <bro>. Uh, <laughs> but you know, it's like my parents had three kids all in. Well, I'm like I said, I'm 41, but my brother and my sister and like there are in their mid to late thirties and right. all in committed relationships. Mm-hmm. My sister, and my brother are married. <laughs> like None of us and are giving like, them grandkids. I'm the oldest and I'm especially exactly. supposed to do it. Yeah. So I felt the most responsible mm. and so many people that have children, I feel like just are, you know, contribute to that whole idea that you should have children. <sighs> That's a woman's duty. Right. That's that. And you don't understand what love is until you have a child and that kind of thing. So for you, who's a mother, to say, I have respect for people who don't have children, I feel like we never hear that from people who have children. <laughs> it's, well, what's funny is I think that what happens is you go into survival mode because you lose so much money, time, energy, sleep, everything that's like vital to your happiness in these first couple years especially. Mm-hmm. 
that you kind of have to, it's like you go into Stockholm syndrome mode. I feel mm. like for people that are like, well, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. You're like, no, you don't. You can't love this. This yeah. is, this sucks. 90% of it sucks. And then there's 10% of it. That's so wonderful that it somehow makes the 90% bearable. Right. That's really the truth of it. Yeah. And nobody talks about that. Like, there's a lot of times where I straight up don't want to be a mom, but I get through those times that to the, the times where I do want to be a mom is so fulfilling mm-hmm. that I don't kill myself. Like that's literally what it is. And yeah. if anyone would actually say that, I feel like people might actually not feel forced to have kids. And then there'd be a lot of like happier people who just didn't have kids. Cause you know what I mean? And like, mm-hmm. I know it's an uncontro kind of controversial thing to say, but it's like, there's plenty of humans in this world. Like yeah. we shouldn't force people who don't feel 100% stoked to have kids, to have them, yes. you know what I mean? Or that if someone is like debating it, that there should be the real stuff out there, not just like all this propaganda of how cute and wonderful it is to be mm-hmm. a mother. Right. You know, that, hey, what's like the other side of it? Right. <laughs> yeah. Because I wish someone would have told me that. No, you know, I, I really appreciate you being honest about that because that's absolutely true. And I find that when I go, one of my really good friends has kids and, you know, I love her kids. They're great. But when I go to her house... I am so relieved to go home. It's a lot. And I can take a nap. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? It's a <laughs> like, lot. She can't do that. No. And I, uh, part of me, I, it's, this is something that I've been really struggling with lately, especially, I mean, honestly, when my brother told me that he was having a baby, it was this weird mix of emotions. It was obviously, I was so happy for him. Right. I was relieved, but I also felt bizarrely guilty. And sad, probably. And a little sad because right. I felt like that was supposed to be me. I should have done that. Right. And I'm confused. I'm confused about how I feel about it. I don't know if, if I want children because I feel like I should, and it's my duty as a woman. Right. And also as a daughter, as everything, so many different parts of you. Yes. And so much of it too was this, um, you know, my father isn't in the best health. He's got Parkinson's and, I'm very close to my dad. And one of my greatest fears was that my father would die and he would never have a grandchild. And that made me feel really, Pressure. really awful that right. I couldn't give my parents something that they really wanted. A gift a before gift. they go. Right. Aww. Exactly. So, so that was a huge part of it too. Mm-hmm. So an immense amount of guilt around it. Right. But I wonder if I just feel like I should have a child because I might regret it later. Right. For me, that's almost like the biggest thing, the fear of future regret. And that's actually part of the reason why I decided to have my daughter was because I thought, well, I should know what it feels. The way that people are like, well, I have to skydive once in my life to know what it feels like. That right. was how I felt about motherhood. Yeah. Was that I'm, I must try it once. You have to. Yeah, but the problem is, is that skydiving is over it's in over like 30 like minutes. And you could die, but you probably won't. So you'll be fine. Just but having that a child is like a minimum 18-year <laughs> commitment. And you could still die from that too. Like you could literally, people, yeah. that's what I thought about when I was pregnant. Like I could die during childbirth. Holy shit, we don't think about that. Mm-hmm. And just all these little things. It's like, it's, it's so commercialized and, and romanticized that you don't think about all those parts of it. Um, but yeah, no, I, I wanted to say to what you were saying about feeling like that duty. I will say that like on the flip side, being a mom now and being a, a youngish mom, considering that a lot of people are waiting till they're older to have mm-hmm. kids. Um, a lot of people aren't doing it in their twenties anymore, which is awesome. Um, but I will say that I think on the flip side, there's kind of this feeling of like, you aren't supposed to do that now. Like a modern woman shouldn't have kids or if she is going to do it. She should, she shouldn't do it young. Mm. She should wait till she's older. She should figure out her whole life and her whole self. And then, and the women who do it young are kind of not to sound negative because I did it too, but are kind of like the less forward thinking, you know Mm. what I mean? Like almost like if you have kids young, you're not a feminist, Mm. you know what I mean? Or if you, if you do it at all, you're not, you know, now the, the, the forward thinking woman to thing to do is to just have dogs and worry about your career and do your yeah. hobbies and do you and oh you had a kid oh gross you know what I mean like especially women in my I will say I love the women in my field but I will I do get that from a lot of them yeah and especially ones my age and older who didn't it's kind of like that <laughs> oh you had a kid wow you know what yeah. I mean like why'd you do that and so there's that flip side too of kind of like I feel jealousy a lot towards my Women like you who felt strong enough to not do it. Like you're an actual modern woman and I'm still in the past of like, well, I had to go have my baby, you know? <laughs> like, Isn't it insane how we, we can't pre- win? That's the thing. It's like the pressure that, that women, that we put on ourselves and that society puts on right. ourselves. And, and you're right. It's like we want to have it all the ways. Mm-hmm. We want to be a career woman and we want to be, be independent. Holly, Molly homemaker. And we also Holly, Molly homemaker. <laughs> 
<laughs> and we also have to be the perfect mom. And like right. the pressure is enormous. It's everything. And men get none of that. Podcasting just got a lot easier with Zencaster's all-in-one podcasting and post-production suite. Get studio quality sound with loudness, noise, and hum reduction that will make your podcast sound like you had it recorded professionally in a studio rather than in your own living room. Zencaster is a podcaster's dream, and for the holidays, they've offered 30% off for the first three months. Just go to Zencaster.com slash Holly to get your offer. That's Z-E-N-C-A-S-T-R dot com and use promo code Holly for 30% off the first three months or check the link in the show description.